Hey guys, in this episode, we have new delivery. Let's take a look. Woo. These are Vibram LX. Bought them in a EU size 45. Let's try these LX Vibrams on. My EVO KSOs are 45 and I purchased these also in 45. Let's see how they fit. Okay, there is no lace portion to pull together at the top of the foot. This is basically a sock with a protective layer underneath. They fit very well. They are snug. I would not wear them with socks like the Injiji socks. I wouldn't use the toe socks for these. Just to answer a few questions, uh, these are the lightest, thinnest, least supportive, and most breathable shoes available from Vibram. Mesh material, protective sole. These are very well made. Well worth it. I purchased these for under $60. Uh, there have been certain issues on reviews about the quality of this particular area where the ridge will separate from the upper. Again, this part also because it's raised up around that people say after prolonged use that this part will separate at the seam. That is the only issue that I've read about these shoes. Small select few of the reviews stated that as being an issue and we aren't sure as to what activity they were using with these, but if it is severe enough and if you bend it enough, I could see that that could be a problem. How do they compare? to the KSO EVOs. As you can see, these are both the same size, yet similar design for the sole. And again, from the front, the only difference in the front is that the laces provide for a more supportive feel 
around the arch. Uh, these are basically water moccasins or socks. Uh, they are far more breathable than the KSOs and the KSOs were breathable to begin with. See the mesh fabric, again the mesh fabric, but the LXs do not have the laces and therefore this area is just held by the elastic around your feet. Do they work for wide feet? Yes, because my feet are wide and they fit just as well as the EVOs. Will they stretch with use? I believe so. My KSO EVOs originally came a little snug and as I started to wear socks with them, they did stretch to conform to fit the socks. That being said, once you put on socks, if you're looking for a snug fit, you will not get them again without wearing the socks. So it only works one way. So once you put the socks in, it will forever be at that uh, ability or at that stretch capacity. And it will not shrink to conform to your feet without the socks ever again. This shoe has minimal padding. Do not expect to have any cushion under your foot. This is to provide as much feedback from the ground as possible and to allow your foot and the ground to communicate so that you can increase your balance and stability. Would I buy these shoes over the KSO EVOs? If I was just on my journey, I would start with the KSOs because of the laces allows for support and you pulling in the instep area of the shoe and that will allow you to kind of get the sensory perception of what it is like to actually have a lessening support and as you progress into your minimalist journey I would then go on to the LX I think that this is a more advanced shoe it does provide protection from the sole but other than that you are basically walking barefoot and for an advanced runner or advanced minimalist this is the perfect option. So if you are advanced in your stage or level of running barefoot or unshod, this is the best that it gets. This is under 4.5 ounces. It literally weighs as much as a sock and it provides just protective support under. This is good for the beach. Uh, you can swim in these. I think that you can maybe do a Tough Mudder or a, a marathon in these. They are actually well-built shoes. And I think that I will be using these as my daily shoes uh, in lieu of the KSO EVOs. Again, if you like this review, please press a like, consider subscribing. I enjoy all the comments that I receive on these videos. If you have these two shoes, tell me which one you like the most. Or if you have another option or other review that you'd like me to do, please drop a comment and I'll be sure to respond. Thanks for watching.